um, who am I? Uh, well, my name's Dwight Jones. Most people know me as Juice Jones. There's actually been a battle over the names people should call me. Because people are always asking me, like, hey, what name are you, like, most comfortable with? And I tell them, like, hey, as long as it's a name that I know identifies me, I'm fine with that. And my mom, my mom alternates between calling me both names anyway. So I don't have a preference. I know, I know I'm the same person regardless. My current mission? Um, damn, that's a, that's a great question. Uh, I'd say my current mission right now with uh, the hashtag Mental Health Monday concept that we've been exploring is trying to put out as many positive images as possible. So we've done the Love Yourself shirts, uh, the Hype Me Up shirts, uh, the comedian from Detroit, Demetrius, is uh, You Matter hoodies. Um, and for the most part, I just want every single Monday to be a positive start to everyone's week. I know Monday is uh, one of the hardest days internationally for a lot of people. It's the day that comes after the weekend, the day that you have to go back to work, the day you have to look forward to going back to the job that doesn't necessarily make you happy. And um, the overall goal of our mission right now is to take the pressures off of having to wake up on a Monday to go back to the things that aren't really a part of your dreams. Um, another layer that we've added on to the Mental Health Monday uh, aspect is um, the Get Home Safe parties where uh, we have events, I guess would be, uh, I guess it would be good to call them mixers, where we throw these events with therapists. Uh, we sell clothing, so the Hide Me Up shirts, the Love Yourself shirts, the Juice shirts. Um, my friends Coop and Ryan, they help me out quite a bit with the events that we put together and throw when it comes to like securing locations and people just understanding that we are creating these spaces that we want people to know it's okay to get help. Um, it's okay to know about the resources in your community outside of just going through your insurance company. Uh, it's okay to shop around for what therapists may be good for dealing with your depression, your anxiety, or your trauma from the past. And I just want people to see the faces of the people that are supposed to help us. Um, I've been black all my life. Uh, being black has a weight of its own. Uh, you have police brutality uh, in the Caribbean culture. Abuse is part of our culture. And I mean, we joke around about it, but that shit really is scarring and jarring for a lot of us. And you know, as a kid who's Jamaican, who grew up in New Jersey, who now lives in DC, I see a lot of bits and pieces of my past that need to be correct, uh, corrected, would be the best way to put it. Um, a helping hand, I guess, would be the best way to describe the overall goal. If you can help those in your community, then you may be able to one day help yourself also. Um, in the Bible, since we're gonna reference Jesus at this point, Jesus wasn't in the big houses. Uh, the way he was depicted, he was in the hood, he was in the slums, he was helping his niggas, he was helping strangers he didn't know, he was helping prostitutes, whores, people who at that time were seen as having a problem. And I mean, no matter whether they were rich, no matter if they didn't have anything to give, he wanted to help people as much as he could. And. Um, a goal for us is we just want to help. We want to create those spaces that we've never been given growing up. Um, and I mean, this project I'm working on right now is the cause and effect of one of the biggest traumas I've gone through in my life. And, um, and losing my best friend and the love of my life 
to depression and anxiety last year and just understanding that I would never want someone to go through that again. Um, and then like building better families. Like how do you, there's no manual that like tells people how to deal with someone's having a mental breakdown, someone's having an episode. There's no coach for shit like that. And then like after not having a coach for shit like that, there's no one who just voluntarily comes into your life and says, hey, I can help you. I heard you had an issue going on. You know, none of that shit's here in life. Like you gotta do it yourself. And I mean, even from a lot of the events that uh, we put together with the Get Home Safe, with the therapists and everything else, I've had therapists let me know, therapists have therapists. The people who help you, they have to go and get therapy too because sometimes it's a lot for them. And understanding no matter how strong you're seen in society or how epic people think the things that you're doing, that you are doing are, everybody needs help. Like, no matter the popularity, no matter the bank account, no matter the situation or the shortcoming or the blessings, mentally, everybody is not prepared for seeking help. And it's just so important. I'm actually really terrible at that, if we're gonna be honest. <laughs> um, let me see. Um, I lost my best friend on June 18th, 2018. And it's just been a whirlwind of putting the events together, telling people to seek help getting our clothing lines together, figuring out whether, uh, what organization we're gonna make donations to. And um, honestly, I haven't gotten professional help that I need to get for myself. Um, I'm working towards it. I mean, I do this thing um, every couple of weeks where informally, I sit down with a therapist that we do these events with and I really open up to them because if you're going to make these suggestions for people to go and get help, you got to make sure it's the right people. Just because they're a therapist don't mean they're good for you. It means their job is they're supposed to help you. Not every person is the greatest, not every person is the worst but I do want to make sure that the people I suggest for everyone who comes to our Get Home Safe event, they know that that space is a safe space. And once they leave that space, that the therapists who are there at the events we put together, whose information they get, are really there to help them. Like, so I open up to them and I get very honest with them about where I am mentally, uh, what I do with myself. I meditate. Um, I avoid alcohol if possible. I only drink with my friends when I do drink. I smoke some weed, but I don't depend on weed. And I don't buy weed. I'm one of those social people that like, if there's anything I'm doing that's an influence outside of just me waking up and eating food, I only do it in a group with my folks. And I don't, get the urge to depend on that. Um, when my friend was here, Darnisha's her name, I never stated that earlier. Um, we, had, we had that as our habits too. She always wanted me to try pina coladas. She was the first person to introduce me to Moscow mules. Uh, she was the first person to introduce me to Milagro Reposado. And I mean, it was a really good time for her. But she always wanted to share the good time. It was never meant to just be something that like, 
she did cooped up in her house when nobody is around. And that taught me a lot because from all the NFL tryouts that I've done, uh, Canadian Football League and American, and I mean in arena football, when you're conditioned in terms of playing all those sports, alcohol isn't necessary. Weed's not all that necessary either. So I had to be taught how to relax and how to really enjoy my time with others. And she taught me that. So, do I get help? Not the kind of help I suggest to others. Am I doing a, an okay job of maintaining myself and giving myself time when I need to? Yeah. I have certain days that I'll disappear off the face of the earth and everybody knows I'm in my room. And it's just because I need social space from everybody. When you do these events, when you contact all these people, when you organize so many things going on between Baltimore, Philly, and DC for the events we put together, you have a lot of conversations. And it's very important to know and maybe, maybe a nigga needs 10 minutes to themselves. <laughs> Maybe you might need to just go soak in a bath in a claw bathtub and use the bath bombs that you brag so much about. You might want to listen to your favorite album, whether it be Black or Beyonce, uh, you know, really get yourself together because you can't advertise that you're doing all these mental health events and not be bringing that positive energy towards everyone that you're doing it with, which is very important. And, um, not only just that, but that energy is very important when it comes to the groups. People, whether you have an awareness or not, you are keen onto the energy that's being brought to each event that's going on. That's why I'm so happy that every single purchase that's made of the shirts, we are able to make donations to organizations in each city, we do a pop-up in to help those who need help. Um, I'm glad that we're able to bring a certain energy to each event that we have, that there's no fights. Um, people have let me know that they have gotten the right amount of help that they need. And um, most of all, that this thing with mental health, it's a marathon, it's not a sprint. You don't get a therapist and one therapist solves all your problems. Um, mental health is the same as having a cold that doesn't go away. And you have to just always find new ways to find a new tea recipe. Uh, you have to have a conversation with someone about doing yoga and how much that like reinforces your nervous system. And mentally, you could be healthy or unhealthy. Mental health isn't just about, I'm depressed, I'm depressed and I have anxiety, so like, I need to get help. Mental health is about being mentally healthy, or at least trying to get as close to it as possible because it's linked to your happiness. I don't want, there's only so much shit I can control, but and the few things that I know I can do, I don't want people to wake up every day feeling miserable or having regrets about the life that they're now stuck with while also hating themselves because they can't get over the weight of all this life that's been given to them. What are some things personally that I could share with people to help them get through their tough times that I've gone through in relation to myself? Yeah. It's okay to be sad. Um, it's okay to be angry, even if it's angry with yourself. But when you do those things emotionally or you let yourself go through the motions, you have to understand where does it come from. Um, when I feel some type of way, for example, I was in the gym the other day, at benching 425 pounds, and right before benching the 425, I had a moment where I was extremely sad. 
um, like to the point of almost tears, but doing well enough to keep it together. And uh, the reason that happened is because while I was in the gym, I came to the realization that that day in the gym was the day before the last day I saw my best friend alive in person. And coming to that realization is, it's heartbreaking. Um, you don't want to lose a loved one. Um, you never know the last time you're going to see that loved one. And once they're gone, you don't get any redos. You don't get to bring them back. You don't get another shot. And you don't get another chance to let them know how much you love them and how much they matter to you. And uh, you don't have to accept everything that happens to you in life. I'm a very angry person. I'm an, I'm an extremely angry person. But that energy that I have in my anger and in my sorrow, I, uh, I don't take it out on others. I put it into the projects that we put together for the mental health pop-ups. Um, I put it in the coordination of my team. Instead of breaking people down and tearing them down, I hype my friends around me. I, uh, I tell them how proud I am of them and their work, and I mean that. It doesn't just come from a false sense of, I'm rooting for them because it's the right thing to do. Nah, every single thing that we do as a team is earned, period. Um, and I try to be a, a positive example to my team as much as I can. And, and the people around me, my team, they understand this fucked up shit that I go through on a daily. I don't allow myself to get too low. I don't allow myself to get too high. And I believe in the actions of others. People are always gonna tell you words. People are always gonna tell you what you wanna hear, but not everyone's gonna show you what you need to see. And um, live your truth. Um, while uh, this, uh, this past week, actually, this week right now that we're in on this holiday, um, 